Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing well. So I'm filming a haul today because my online shopping addiction is becoming a problem. I'm unable to contain myself and should not be able to earn a bank card. I would say I don't want to talk about it but here I am filming a whole vlog on what I've spent, what I've ordered and just refreshing myself with that I'm an idiot because I just need to have a word with myself. But yeah, it's done now. The damage is done. I've already gone through things and decided that there's nothing I'm actually even going to send back. I want to keep everything. But next month, I'm actually going to go on a no spending month. Like, what month is next month? No spend April. It's going to be impossible to do that, but we can try. Hope you enjoy the video. Also, I wanted to apologise again in advance that... This camera costs an arm and a leg and does not know how to focus. So I can only imagine through this video of me showing you items of clothing, it's going to be a nightmare and I'm going to go to edit this and literally have a breakdown because of how bad this focus is. Like I'm already... I'm just going to work with it. I just say by the way, this might be a long haul. So yeah, we're going to start with ASOS. I ordered a pair of leggings because in lockdown, I was about to say if you're wearing jeans, what is wrong with you, but here I am in my jeans. But yeah, I ordered a pair of leggings because I literally live in leggings and trackies at the moment. All I want to do is be in my pyjamas, but I feel like I should make an effort by like midday to change into something else like leggings and joggers. These are from ASOS. I picked them up in a size small and they were, I think... £20 which seems a lot for a legging but they're not that see-through thin material legging where you can just see your whole buttocks through the back. I like this ribbed material can you see that? And they're not see-through I have tried them on already but yeah super stretchy and I mean for £20 it's a lot for a legging but I think they will last. So these will literally just do around the house I can put them with that oversized jumper. I'm always going to work in leggings, joggers and hoodies. That's all I live in. So I'm going to probably get a lot of wear out of those. Okay, so the next thing I ordered from ASOS is a little bit random. And I'm going to explain why I ordered it. It is a fluffy, like, play suit. So it's, like, shorts. And it's, like, a really... It is covered in fluff already. So that is going to be an absolute nightmare. Why is... Oh, it's like this fluffy material and the reason I ordered it was I'm not usually one to wear pyjamas like I'm just always in like a big oversized hoodie or t-shirt and the biggest knickers you've ever seen in your life but I've actually got a weekend away planned when we are allowed to leave the house and there's like a hot tub like a log cabin and I thought this would be really cute to just lounge in I saw it and I saw the fluff and I was like oh I need you I picked this up in a size 6, but I am really tall and I definitely could have done with an 8 or 10. But I think they were literally out of stock every day that I checked. So when it came in in a size 6, I was like, okay, we're going to make do with it. £28. So again, it's not cheap cheap, but it's not ridiculously expensive. And it is really thick and cute and I'll get so much wear out of that. Not that I'm ever going to leave the house in it, but I mean, we're not leaving the house anyway, feel me? So, yeah. Okay, the next thing I ordered, I loved Topshop when they were around. So obviously Topshop's now part of ASOS. These are from Topshop on ASOS. They are a leather legging with like a nice like stitching detail down the front. And I love them so much. I have so many like leather joggers and leather leggings, but a lot of them... They're just awkward fit. I just don't feel like they shape me very well. They're quite thick as well, so they feel lovely. And I could wear those, like, now when it's, like, getting a bit warmer, but it's still quite cool. And in winter, I thought, I was going to wear them in winter, but we've just come out of winter, haven't we? So I didn't need them. So I picked these up in a UK 8, and they were £35.99, so £36. And I think they are really worth the money. As pricey as that might seem just for a, like, a leather legging, they are super thick, super comfy, and they look expensive when you put them on. And you can dress them up, dress them down, you can put them with a big hoodie or do like a nice top for going out when we're allowed to go out. But yeah, these were one of my favourite things I picked up from the haul. Okay, so... 
I was unsure of whether I wanted these. I definitely didn't need them because I have that many pairs of jeans, trousers, leggings, joggers. Not need any more trousers. But I do not own a pair of these like cargo trousers. Look at the position I'm in. I must look ridiculous. They do come with a chain on, but it's removable and I definitely will remove the chain. I feel like I just prefer them so much more without. So yeah, I've got some cargo trousers. The only thing I don't like about these trousers is the huge Bershka sign on the back. There is no need for a label to be that big on the back. I thought I was gonna be able to remove it and I might just have to try and unstitch that because I don't really want it on there. I picked these up in a U EUR36. I think that's a size eight. You'd think with my job, I'd definitely know that. I actually don't. 25 99 and again, not cheap, but it's not pricey. And I think because they're super thick and they are gorgeous when they're on, I think they're worth every penny of the 26 pounds. So I think that was everything from ASOS. I actually ordered loads of stuff from ASOS, but then things came and I was quite sensible enough to say, okay, you've got something like that. You do not need another hoodie. I've literally just said that I don't need another hoodie. There's literally two hoodies. There's three hoodies in my parcels. I'm actually incapable of not spending. Okay, well that was it for ASOS. I'm now gonna move on to Very. So the first thing I got from Very was, Okay, this is my favourite, favourite thing of the whole. I'm probably going to say that about a lot of things, but I do think this is my absolute favourite. I work for Very in Liverpool and in my job there's a lot of things you'll try on and you'll go, oh my god, I need to purchase this. This was the absolute must. I'm actually modelling this on Very's website with a pair of leather leggings, which... So the leather leggings from ASOS, I would definitely pair with this. So I picked up this gorgeous white All Saints hoodie. This was actually on ASOS for £120. I went on Very's website and I think it was reduced down to £94. Quite oversized, but not ridiculously huge. There's actually no way of me trying to show these in full. I don't know how people do it. But this gorgeous print on it and it's like, I don't know if you can see, but it like comes out a little bit. So it's not just printed, it's like raised. Will I keep it white? Absolutely not. Will I ruin it in about a week? Definitely. But I love it so much and I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of this. Yeah, so I got this in a size small and it's more on the large side than it is a small size, so yeah. When I can be reminded of how it feels to go to the airport, this will come in handy for me so i don't have a lot of bags i'm more of a shoe person like a hoodie person i never ever treat myself to like bags it's just not my go-to item when i go to look for things to buy can we take a minute i absolutely adore this again i modeled these for very exclusive the other week and straight away was like okay i think i need you I mean, like who do i actually think i am because i'm just not a bag person i'm a whole new person now for ordering a bag such a nice shape and it's this gorgeous canvas feeling let's just take a minute so this is on very exclusives website for 200 pounds they have it in a gorgeous like jean blue and black and cream i think the cream's a little bit more expensive i literally walked around the studio for a good 10 minutes deciding on which bag I wanted but I have settled for the khaki one and I do not regret my decision next one's exciting this is one of my favorite things of the haul because it didn't cost me a penny which is why I like it so lounge underwear if you've heard of them I do a lot of collabs with them it's their fifth birthday coming up and they kindly gifted me one of their apricot set so it's this gorgeous thong I love the colour of that. They always have this gorgeous branding around the waistband. The bra is to die for. It is stunning. When I get a tan, I'll feel a lot better about putting this on. So thank you, Lounge, for sending me this. Keep your eyes peeled for the post when it does go live. There is some exciting info on there. Okay, next parcel I'm going to do is Pretty Little Thing. So... So I feel like in my head, it's probably just another unhealthy thing that I do, is that if you order from Pretty Little Thing, you always have to pick up a pair of Pretty Little Thing joggers. I absolutely live in Pretty Little Thing joggers. They're the only brand that I feel 
fit my legs because my legs are ridiculously long. If I wear misguided or even ASOS sometimes, I always feel like they're cut shorter and especially Zara, I cannot wear any trousers from the Zara. I picked up this ash grey pair of joggers from Pretty Little Thing. They have the elasticated waist in there. I picked them up in a size extra small because even though I'm really tall, I ordered a small and had to send them back and get an exchange for an extra small because they were, even then, super long. These were £21.99. go with the joggers, I actually picked up a hoodie that I didn't need. second hoodie of this haul is this ash grey. matches the joggers, but it's a cropped hoodie, so it's actually just cut material, which I quite like, like the raw edge of that. Again, it is super thick and so comfortable, and the hood is huge as well, and I love that. If ever I want to sit and chill, I'm always like, hood up, just want everything oversized and super baggy. I literally have never worn tracksuits more than I ever have in my life the last year. It is now going to be my go-to hoodie. I picked this up in a size small and it's a little bit on the large side but I like that. I'd rather have a hoodie oversized as you can see. I'm really sorry about these angles by the way. But yeah I picked that up in a size small. It's only £16. So £16 for a hoodie, £16 for joggers. I can't do the maths right now. £32 for a set I think is really good. The next thing I got from Pretty Little Thing. It's look awful because it's so creased. I definitely should have ironed these before this. But I just picked up a long sleeved cropped white top. The only reason I got this top was because of the tracksuit I'd ordered. If I go to work in the morning, sometimes it's cool. I feel like because it's a cropped hoodie, I'd want my belly to be on show. So I'd want a cropped t-shirt, which made sense. But then at the same time, long sleeves for extra warmth. I'm trying to explain why I bought this to make myself feel better. I didn't need it. Again, it was only £6. Like you can kind of get a McDonald's for that price. But then again, simple tops like this, I do get a lot of wear out of them. I picked this up in a size 8, and again, it was just £6, so it's not too much damage done. The problem occurs when you pick up the same top with short sleeves. But again, this was only £7. I think the label has ripped off this. I think I picked this up in a size 10 because I was worried about how tight it would be and how cropped it would be. It's actually not too bad, like it's just above your belly button and I live in high-waisted joggers, high-waisted jeans anyway, so I will still get so much wear out of this. And it's quite a thick material, it's not that see-through. The previous top with the long sleeves is literally translucent. Translucent? Transparent. It's literally see-through. Whereas this one's a lot thicker. So, yeah. Okay, so the most annoying thing ever has just happened. I've just gone to put all this footage onto my laptop to find out that the last clip of, like, the last pretty little thing, H&M, the last big section of the video, just wouldn't upload, which is just great. Oh, if the lighting has changed or the position of all this has changed, I am so sorry. Why do I look so slanted? But anyway, it is going to annoy me so much now when I edit this video, the fact that everything's going to change, the lighting, just the mood of everything. So I'm trying to think about where I was up to when it cut off. Anyway, the next thing I ordered from Pretty Little Thing is this gorgeous flannel t-shirt. My brain is already mush, honestly. I do not need this today. So I picked up this gorgeous flannel shirt. I would style this with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. You can put it with joggers, with jeans, leathers, with shorts in the summer. I always find it's nice when I'm wearing shorts um, and I'm out, if ever it gets to that cooler temperature at night, that it's nice to just throw something on like this. It's not overly thick, but it's not thin either. I have no idea how to explain that. So I picked this up in a size six and it is still large on me. It's still quite oversized. I'm five foot eleven and if you are smaller I would go for the smallest size. Depending on how oversized you want it. If I'd gone for an eight or a ten like I usually would I feel like it would have been too big and literally drowned me. But then again I like to roll the sleeves up, like to tie things, tuck it in. It was £25 which I think a pretty little thing it's more the expensive side because a lot of their stuff is fairly cheap. I think it is still, I've literally said it's everything, worth the penny. I guess I'm just trying to make myself feel better for spending so much money but it is worth all the money that I spent on it. So the next pass was actually the one that I was most excited about. I think it's because I placed an order with H&M that arrived last week, tried everything on a few days ago, nothing fit, I ordered the wrong items, I was just stressed, had a huge tantrum about it and then I was worried that this parcel that I ordered from H&M again wouldn't come in time for today, but it did. First thing I'm going to show you is in fact a hoodie 
the third one of this haul it's so bad i do not need another hoodie but this is a gorgeous creamy colored and i will get so much wear out of this gonna keep telling myself that to make myself feel better i do actually just live in oversized hoodies or sweatshirts so i will as much as i try make myself feel better i will get a lot of wear out of this and i love as well how this focuses but it comes with like these silver aglets I watched Phineas and Ferb as a child you will not forget that word it's an aglet a g l e I'm not gonna sing it but yes I picked this up in a size medium because I wanted to make sure it was oversized and super super baggy and I think this was 17 99 and again because we are in lockdown I couldn't go without ordering more joggers so I picked these up in a size small. I don't know if they did an extra small. If they did an extra small, I would definitely go back and get them in an extra small. These are so comfy and so thick. I've never had H&M joggers and they are pretty much the same as the Pretty Little Thing joggers that I live in. I've never ordered a pair or tried a pair on in store. And I am pleasantly surprised with the thickness, the length, everything with these. I was worried they were going to be too short. These were £15, £14.99. But yeah, super happy with these. And I will, again, get so much wear out of them. They're super elasticated as well, which I like. So like I said, if I could go back and get an extra small. But I'm not going to send this back and make another order. I just can't do it to myself. So the next thing I ordered from H&M is really, really random. Because... Who do I think I am ordering a satin blush coloured shirt? I think in my head I just pictured like nice meal, casual, not over dressy. You can have it like tucked into a nice pair of jeans, nice leather. You have it unbuttoned with like a lace bralette underneath. There's just so many ways to style a shirt and I don't think it was that expensive. I picked it up in a size medium because I prefer them to be oversized. And it was only £12.99 which I think is a good price for this shirt and you can make that look so expensive with the jewellery you wear it with the outfit for like a nice little bag pair of heels that would be gorge oh right well i ordered a beauty bay parcel because oh, i'm so out of breath honestly the stress i've just had trying to upload this video for it to just not work and have to refilm the end mood killer anyway the other day i woke up and i was just in the middle of doing my skincare routine in the morning like can anyone hear that? Honestly, this cat. Come on, Stu. I feel like it's going to be a regular thing for him to start appearing in these videos because he's so needy. So, as I was saying... Okay, so I ordered from Beauty Bay. The other day I woke up and decided mid skincare routine that I hated all the products I'd used, everything else, decided I really wanted to change, threw a little tantrum, had a little breakdown about it, ended up spending a fortune on new skincare. So I ordered some amazing products from Ren. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I don't want this to be like a skincare vlog, but I ordered the Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser, the Gentle Cleansing Milk, the Overnight Recovery Balm, some uh, face cloths so I don't have to use my fingers for everything, um, some Glow Daily Vitamin C Cream, oh my God. and Ready Steady Glow Tonic as like a toner. And I kept them in the Beauty Bay box, but they're actually just from Ren's website. I probably should have clarified that. These are from Ren, not Beauty Bay, but they're being kept in the Beauty Bay box just because I didn't want them loose everywhere. Before ordering all of this from Ren, I um, ordered the Ordinary High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula because obviously I just needed more skincare to go with the 100 items I've got already. Okay, the next thing I ordered was, don't hate me, I want to say St. Tropez. Tropez. I'm going to go with that, just hope for the best. I'm not familiar with tan at all. I think I'm part allergic with anything to do with tan because I always come out in a rash. However, found this, oh, don't make me say it again. St. Tropez, please don't hate me if that's wrong. Um, self tan purity vitamins bronzing water serum so i thought because it's water based it might be okay and i have used it about a week ago and no rash so far touch wood 
I feel like I should be pouring this onto my face at the moment. I've never been so pale in my life. I am Casper the friendly ghost at the moment. The last thing I got from Beauty Bay was a facial cleansing brush. So with this, um, it's like a battery operated absolute lie. It's not battery operated at all. It's one of them USB chargers. This facial cleansing brush, and it comes with bristles on either side and then it does turn on and it's like a vibrating motion which I think is really nice when you're cleaning your face. It's right into your pores and it makes your skin feel so clean afterwards. I've been dying to get my hands on one of those for a while now. So that was the last thing I'd ordered from Beauty Bay, but because if you'd spent a certain amount of money, they give you a freebie. So they actually gave me a crayon eyeliner, which is great for someone who has no idea how to do makeup, cannot perfect eyeliner at all. This is like a bronzy coloured, what on earth is that? Oh my god. So I've just pulled this little thing out of... It's actually like a little sharpener for the eyeliner. That is so cute. Did just think I broke the eyeliner pen then. But again, yeah, it's like a bronzy... I would show you, this camera's just not going to focus on it. But it's like a bronzy coloured tip, so... I guess that's less pressure to try and perfect something if I do it in a lighter shade. I would love to be good at makeup. I'm actually horrendous at it. What a stressful moment trying to upload this video and then have to refilm the end of it all again. I'm going to be so annoyed when I go to edit this and the lighting's off, the picture's off and oh, there's bigger problems in life. Stuart. Well, for the second time, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will link everything from this haul in the description down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it and can't wait to see you in my next video.